As we age, our cells evolve and we acquire mutations in cancer-associated genes in physiologically healthy tissues such as skin, esophagus and blood. A major challenge in the field of early cancer detection, however, is being able to predict which precancerous mutations will progress to cancer and which will remain indolent. In blood cells, the presence of precancerous mutations is called clonal hematopoiesis, and with blood's relative ease of sampling, it provides an ideal model for studying this problem. It is already known that the risk of progressing to blood cancer depends on which gene is mutated, but our ability to risk stratify specific variants is crude. For example, should all mutations in TP53 be considered equally high risk? The proportion of blood cells carrying the mutation, reflected in the variant allele frequency, is also known to affect the risk of blood cancer. But simply looking at the variant allele frequency is problematic because it is so variable between individuals, even for a specific variant. What we found, however, is that by looking at the spectrum of variant allele frequencies across large numbers of individuals and combining this with evolutionary theory, it is possible to quantify the growth potential or fitness effect for specific variants at single nucleotide resolution, allowing us to determine which specific variants are potentially the most pathogenic. Our framework also allowed us to quantify the distribution of fitness effects within genes and therefore what proportion of mutations within a gene are potentially high risk. Using our approach, we were able to build a league table of the fittest and therefore potentially most pathogenic variants in blood. To find out what they are and more, please see our paper, Out Now in Science.